In an attempt to relitigate the insurrection, a group of House Republicans visited January 6th defendants at a D.C. jail yesterday. Two Democrats joined the group to, quote, cut through Republicans' attempt to rewrite the history of the riots. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene spearheaded the effort. There were many, many reports of, of how they're being abused um, and how their rights are being abused. And remember, these are pre-trial uh, January 6th defendants. The reason why we're here is because the two-tier justice system has to end. To be clear, Green is defending people like Daniel Rodriguez, who drove a stun gun into the neck of former Washington police officer Michael Fanone, and Samuel Lazar, who is accused of using a bullhorn to urge rioters to steal police officers' guns. Some Republicans have called them political prisoners, but it's important to remember that those incarcerated for the insurrection are accused of committing actual crimes. Joining me now, Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett of Texas, who was one of the two Democrats to join that trip to the D.C. jail yesterday, and Elise Jordan, MSNBC political analyst. Thank you both very much for being here. Congresswoman Crockett, Marjorie Taylor Greene claims she's received reports of abuse from rioters in the jail that paints a picture of despair. What do you see when you toured the jail? Listen, first of all, it's good to see you this morning, Jonathan. And... Um, I was trying to ear hustle, right? So so no January Sixers were coming over and saying, oh, let me go and talk to her and tell my side of the story, except for one. There was one. Jonathan wanted to um, explain to me what happened and give me his defensive stance. But listen, what I saw was a group of very privileged individuals that were being treated so much more better than any prisoner that I've ever dealt with. And I've been doing criminal defense work and civil rights work for almost two decades. So I think that it's a, it's a matter of uh, what you want to see, right? And honestly, this trip was simply about having a conversation and continuing to build a defense for these folk mm -hmm. that legitimately tried to tear our democracy apart, and they went in trying to kill colleagues of mine. You know, Elise, advocates and Democrats have been sounding the alarm for prison reform for a while. Now, all of a sudden, Republicans are concerned with improving prison conditions for insurrectionists. What do you make of this? Jonathan, if there's one silver lining to a brutal, horrible attack on our capital, maybe it's that Republicans will start to look at criminal justice reform in a different light. I, you know, I wonder how many prisons and jails that Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has visited in her district and in Georgia, but it's good that she is getting out and she's understanding the pretrial conditions that prisoners that's their world and that they exist in. So if there if there's any silver lining to this, it's that hopefully we can become more united in basic civil rights, ensuring basic civil rights mm -hmm. for all incarcerated individuals in this country. 